Okay, what we're going to cover today is doing the wiring for a single overhead to dual overhead swap in the 240SX with the KA motors. This connector here is the one off the dual overhead cam and the white one here is the single overhead cam. And basically what everybody states is uh, do color for color. You're going to cut the connectors off and you're going to wire in the uh, single overhead connector on the dual overhead harness because you're using the dual overhead harness for your motor and you're using the single overhead dash connector because you still have the single overhead car. But that's not totally true as far as color for color because on the dual overhead cam harness you have a black wire which is a ground where on the single overhead harness you have a black wire but it goes for data. The uh, single overhead cam harness does not have a ground wire on the dash plug here. Okay to open these connectors up it's pretty simple. On the side here with the push button you have a little tab. You just want to grab that tab and push down on it. Push down this way while pulling out. But be very gentle because they're fragile and they can break. And as you see it comes out like that and then you want to grab it and pull the teeth out on this side pull the teeth out just like so and that disconnects this side of the wires so then you'll flip it over to do the other side it's almost the same design you're just going to pull down with your fingernail and take a small flathead screwdriver and pop it out on this side again being very gentle because you can break it it's got little spots where you can get underneath it and there's some spots that have teeth so you want to be careful of that you don't want to break no teeth on this or it will not lock back you have to get a new connector and after you have this side open do the same thing grab it and pull the teeth out on this side just like so and that releases the wires on this side then after you have it on both sides disconnected and opened up you'll take a pick tool like this and flip it over on this side and on each side you have a connector this side and this side and in the center is where your little clip is it's like basically like it's a little hook hooks onto the uh, connector I'll show you the uh, connector when I get it pulled out but I can't show you the hook inside here basically what I'm gonna do is take the pick put it in the middle and slide down the connector there and it has a little clip inside there if it pops off you'll hear it click so you'll know you need, you'll know you need to take your pick tool out and uh, try it again and then grab the wire on the other side while you got your pick tool in there and pull on the wire and if the wire don't come out easily you know you got you don't have the uh, you'll know you don't have the hook off and as soon as you get it out as soon as you get the hook off, the wire will pull straight out. Now that I have the connector turned over, you'll see the hole here and the little grabbers on the side there. That's actually what the hook on the connector grabs onto. As far as the dual overhead cam connector here and the single overhead connector, they're very similar in design, but they are not the same. If you look on this side, the pins are different. As you see, you have a row of two here and you have a row of three on this side. Whereas if you were to flip it over, like so, it would be similar because you have two on this side and then you have three on this side just like that. But it's not going to work because the connector is flipped around and it will not connect on. That's why you need to use a single overhead connector on the dual overhead harness. And I mean you could easily just cut these, cut the wires off and solder them together. But we're just depinning these connectors. It's a whole lot cleaner way to do it and you don't have to cut and splice and solder everything so you know you're gonna have a good connection this is the more professional way to do it wires we're gonna to need to keep and use on the swap is the blue with the black striped wire which is water temp wire and if you want to go as far as the connectors go the blue and the black striped one is in the exact same position on the single overhead as it is on dual overhead next is your yellow with a red stripe is your tack signal Again, it's in the exact same location on the single overhead as it is on dual overhead. Next is your yellow with a green stripe wire. That's your speedometer wire. Again, the single overhead is in the same position as the dual overhead as far as connectors go. Next 
if you have AC and you're keeping AC, you'll need the blue with the green striped wire. Whereas on the single overhead, it is not in the same position. It's on the opposite side of this little connector here. So that would be in a different position. The three here are gray, black, and white on the dual overhead here, which this is the ABS harness. So this is ABS wires. If you don't have ABS car, you're not gonna have these three wires. Then on the bottom side here, you have the orange wire, which is your start wire, your ignition start. Whereas on the single overhead, it's on the bottom in the exact same position. And as far as the rest of the wires that's in here, you don't need to use any of them. The best way is to do one wire at a time. So we'll go ahead and do that now. Again, you'll take your pick tool, stick it in the middle here, push down, I don't know if you can hear that clicking, but that's my uh, that's my pick tool popping off the hook there. Grab the wire, pull it out. We have D-pin, the blue with the black stripe wire from the dual overhead connector. Now, we'll lay that to the side. We'll come over to the single overhead connector. We need to open this one up. Opens up the exact same way the dual overhead did. Push down this by pulling out. And pull it out, the teeth out on that side. Flip it over. Pull it down with your fingernail, take the small flathead screwdriver, start on one side and work your way towards the middle, towards the other side. That's out, and then pull this side out. Okay, your connector is ready to go, ready to deep in. Do the same thing again, we'll take our pick tool, stick it in the middle, slide down the connector there, the pin. I guess I should say. Grab hold of the wire you want to pull out and pull it straight out. Now we have deep in the blue with the black stripe wire from the single overhead harness, single overhead connector. Pull your pick tool out. Take your blue with black stripe wire from the dual overhead harness. We're going to plug it into the single overhead connector. You won't be able to put it in wrong. It only go in one way. And you push it all the way up and pull on the wire when you when you push it up make sure it locks in it locks on that hook and then you're good to go with that one okay now we're gonna go for the uh, yellow with the red stripe wire which is your tack wire D pin from the dual overhead now we'll grab this one on the single overhead do the same thing D-pin from the single overhead. And we'll take our dual overhead wire and stick it into the slot of the single overhead. I'll flip this over and show you. It just slides straight down in there. All the way down. Pull up on it, make sure it connects to the hook. And that's good. These two wires here are done as far as this connector goes. These two here we've deep pinned, we'll just pull them back to get them out of the way. Next we'll go for the yellow with the green stripe wire, which is your speedometer. Deep pin from the dual overhead plug. I'm going to take the one off the single overhead plug connector. Okay, that's the pin. Connect on single overhead connector. Tug on it, it's locked in. And also to make note, the yellow with the green stripe wire splits into two wires here. One side goes to the ECU connector here, and the other side goes to the vehicle speed sensor on your transmission.